you know, generational wealth has been a word that has been linked specifically to white people. And it doesn't have to be. We ourselves, as minorities, we just have to grow in our understanding of what wealth is, how to build wealth, and start making those investments. Hey guys, welcome to Sear Generation. My name is Manny. Today I wanna to talk to you about the wealth gap. Now, I saw this post not too long ago. The title of the post is America's Racial Wealth Gap. On the left side, we have the net worth of black families being about $17,000. And then on the right side, we have the net worth of white families being about $171,000. Now, when looking at this post and looking at the title, you're automatically going to start thinking about, well, this must be a racial thing. This, might, this must be a racial issue. And it could be. I want to present to you, though, another perspective. When I looked at this same post, that's not where my mind went. For me, the first thing that I thought of, well, what is the black family investing in versus what is the white family investing in? Is there any investing going on for the black community, right? That's where my mind went. You know, oftentimes when people think of net worth, they think of this number being the amount of money that somebody has in the bank. And that's simply not the case. When you look at net worth, what you are doing is taking the sum of everything that you own and you are subtracting it by the sum of everything that you owe. Things that you own can be investments like real estate, can be investments in the stock market, in Bitcoin, can be investments that you've made in antiques, investments that you've made in gold or silver. Everything that is worth value is on the side of the things that you own. Now you take everything that you owe, loans that you have, you know, bills that you haven't necessarily paid or credit card, um, that are outstanding and you subtract the two that's considered your net worth it's not how much money you have in the bank okay and to be honest with you having a net worth of two hundred thousand dollars is quite easy to achieve and it doesn't take a lot of effort i'll give you a perfect example my parents my parents bought their home about i would say let me think 12 to 14 years ago all right and they bought it at a time where the market was pretty low. Now, they have to at this point owe probably a hundred thousand dollars or close to that range, right? If they were to sell their home today, they could easily sell their home for five hundred thousand dollars. All right. So if you take the five hundred thousand dollars that they can sell this property at, and you subtract the hundred thousand that they owe to the bank plus let's say 50 conservatively worth of taxes, they would be left with, if they sold today, $350,000. Now, this doesn't mean that they have access to that today, but all they did was buy a property 10 plus years ago, sat on it, lived in it, and if they were to sell it at some point, they would be making a profit. Now, people think that Everybody that is a millionaire has a million bucks in the bank. And that's not the case. Most people, when they call themselves millionaires, it's not that they have a million dollars in the bank. It's that they have a million dollars worth of assets. And I really want you to think about this because this is important. This is how you become a millionaire. This is how you start building generational wealth. You start making investments. To be honest, when I look at this post, I don't necessarily go to race as much as I go to investments. And for me, the problem is not a racial thing, it's an investment thing, it's an education thing. We need to start educating ourselves and understanding what an investment is versus a liability. A home does not bring in you money every month is a liability. A car that's depreciating in value, not growing in value, it's a liability, it's not an asset. 
And this is what we have to start thinking about. Because that's how we as a people will be moving ahead. And by the way, when I say people, I'm talking about us as minorities. You know, generational wealth has been a word that has been linked specifically to white people. And it doesn't have to be. We ourselves, as minorities, we just have to grow in our understanding of what wealth is, how to build wealth, and start making those investments. Instead of investing, and it's not even investing, instead of wasting money on things that don't make money for us and for our families. So I hope that this helps us understand a little bit more what wealth is and hopefully motivates you to start looking into investing. I hope that this was helpful. Please share, like, and subscribe this video. Thanks for your support.